Hey everybody, this is Atticus the Death Miller, and boy, oh boy, we are just still at the very beginning of 2018, and already someone decided to take the title for dumbass of 2018. And congratulations, the title for dumbass of 2018 is Logan Paul. Now, before I get onto the meat and potatoes of this topic, because I know it is swarming like wildfire, I know that YouTubers like some black guy, Kavos, and my friend Thrash Metal Guru made videos on Logan Paul, but before we get down onto the topic at hand here, I'm going to bring out my initial thoughts of Logan Paul before he did his incident that made him win the award of Dumbass of 2018. Now, when Vine was a thing back in 2013, I discovered Logan Paul through Vine, and you know, Vine was being popular at back then, you know, it was the thing to go to. So, you know, a lot of, you know, YouTubers that are popular as of right now, they got all their starts from Vine. And Logan Paul happened to be one of them. Now, I've seen Logan Paul's content and, you know, he was obnoxious and I didn't really, you know, give a damn about Logan Paul. He's not, you know, being a harm to anyone, he's just doing his own thing, and he rose to a lot of popularity. I'm like, wow, okay, he's, you know, become famous, um, viral famous, so, you know, it's not that big of a deal. But then, let us go over to 2017, in which I discovered that Logan Paul had a little brother, Jake Paul, you know, this guy. It's every day, bro, it's every day, bro, it's every day, bro, I said it's every day. And so I became a little bit, you know, curious on how the Paul bros do. So I've seen a lot on what Jake Paul has done. I've seen everything. I, I, I was tempted to make a video on to Jake Paul, but I was like, what's, what's the point at making a video on Jake Paul? He's a absolute fucking dumbass. Like, there's no point in making a video on how much of an idiot Jake Paul is. And he's also just, you know, a terrible person, you know, which I'm pretty sure you've seen a lot of videos on Jake Paul. Now, I've seen, you know, Logan Paul, his own thing. He is obnoxious, but I'm pretty sure he was of the two Lo Paul brothers that was obnoxious, but he was like, okay, Jake, you need to tone it down a bit. Which, you know, as an older brother, you should do that. But, nope. <laughs> Actually, he pulled a hold my beer bro to Jake and did something pretty absolutely just so messed up. So, let us get down to the very topic at hand here. So, Logan Paul is an avid vlogger of sorts, and I don't really pay that much attention to Logan Paul, though Jake Paul has been on my radar since, but I've never really made any videos. But Logan Paul was over in Japan just doing some, you know, shit for the lulls as a vlogger, doing his silly self. But then he decides to go into the most popular destination in Japan, the Okikahara forest. And when I mean popular, I mean the most popular destination to fucking off yourself. Yes, it is also known as the suicide forest. And it does not help that, you know, Japan has a pretty high suicide rate. It used to have the number one suicide rate in the developed world. South Korea now takes the cake while Hungary is in second place and Japan has been a little bit better being third, but still, it's pretty high up there, and it's a 
it's a big problem in Japan. Like how we in America have obesity, heart disease, and lung cancer, and mass shootings. You, you get the drift on what I'm trying to say. Japan has suicide. But we're getting way off topic because Logan Paul decided to do the absolute unthinkable. Now I know I'm well aware that a bunch of YouTubers have talked about this issue, like most notably Mr. Dapperton, and when I was going to watch his video on the matter, it was deleted. So, um, he probably showed footage of what I'm gonna talk about, but for the sake of this video, I am not going to show you the footage, but I am going to be talking about this. So I'm just going to leave it at that. So let us go on to what he did at the Okigahara Forest. The one thing that is getting people rallied up over Logan Paul is that he and his gang stumble upon a corpse, just a hanging corpse. And it's just, it's just out there. And all that. I've seen the video and I was like, what the fuck is going on? And you would expect as a normal person, if you were, you know, just shooting, you know, a video at the Okigahara Forest and you see something like that, you would turn the video off, go over to the authorities and say, hey, there's a fucking body over there um, just to let you know. But what does Logan Paul do? He doesn't do any of that. He vlogs. The corpse, just this hanging, dangling corpse, purple, and they're just making like little snarky jokes about it. And that is why people are, you know, getting rallied up. It's not just that, but at the beginning of the video, he said, I am not monetizing this video. This is just to spread awareness on a suicide. Um, dude, the title of your video was fucking clickbait. So, I don't know what you're trying to do there, buddy, but there was no way in any shape or form you were trying to make, you were basically trying to make light over a very messed up place where people go there to die. And that is why a lot of people are going on to your case. Now, I know some people are gonna go after me onto the part of the video where Logan Paul was laughing when they were around the dead corpse, which I can understand that some people do laugh when they're around a corpse and as a way of coping. You know, most people do that and I can clearly understand. I mean, being around a dead body is quite an experience that, you know, it's one of the most morbid experiences you could ever, you know, experience. And, you know, I'm not saying go be around corpses and stuff. It's not a really pleasant experience. And I know this because two years ago I was at a funeral home for, um, my neighbors who lost a loved one in their life. And I'm not going to go further detail for their sake, but I, I gotta say it was probably one of the most morbid and just uneasy feelings that I've ever dealt with. I can understand why he was giggling and stuff as a way of coping. I can understand that on Logan Paul, but the fact that he decided to just vlog a corpse... No, that's, that's out of the picture. But the real issue that I have here, the real big issue that I have here with this whole situation is YouTube. Because, well, yeah, the video was taken down by Logan Paul. And it, it was, before it was taken down, it was trending. It was absolutely trending. Let's, let's not forget about, you know, PewDiePie, you know, making some edgy jokes which, yeah, we're kind of up there, but um, he had his um, you know, YouTube Rewind partnership taken out. His sponsorships took him down. And not to mention that even if I monetize my videos, even after the whole adpocalypse, after the whole Wall Street Journal thing, even after that, you know, I mean, if I was making ad revenue 
off of videos like this. <laughs> just, just to make, you know, strong topics, whether it's left or right. You know, smaller YouTubers get their stuff demonetized. While you have these, you know, cash cows like, um, Logan Paul, Jake Paul, and of course, Daddy05. We all remember Daddy05. You all remember that, you know, um, like, he was getting all that, you know, ad revenue for Red Bull money by just smashing Xboxes and just, you know, breaking them and just doing invisible ink shit onto poor little Cody. We all do remember that, but we all remember that it had a very happy ending. Nope, not on YouTube's case. If I make a video on Sweden and how, you know, messed up Sweden is and how completely cucks they are, oh, it's demonetized, even though I don't monetize my videos at all. I make my videos videos just for fun. Just just in situation, if my video was, you know, intent to be monetized, it would be demonetized in a lickety slap. But nope, people like Logan Paul, Jake Paul, Daddy05, etc. Doesn't matter. It doesn't really fucking matter. And I think that's the biggest, you know, thing that I absolutely hate about YouTube nowadays. And of course, a lot of people took to Twitter just to express their, their, their just love of Logan Paul making that amazing vlog video. For instance, Lacey Green, of all people that I thought I would never agree with. Sansa Stark, Piers Morgan giving out some love, and A.A. Ron Paul. My God. I mean, they're just, they're just showing the love of Logan Paul, just giving him all that love. On a serious note, and drawing to conclusions at the very end of this video, I want to be a little bit serious and to say this. Now, Logan Paul, if you watch this video, and I highly doubt you are going to watch this video, but just in case if you do, please listen to what I am going to say. Now, first and foremost, you are indeed a dumbass. I don't hate you, but you are truly a dumbass. But I know you're probably, I know I'm, people are going to hate me when I make this comparison, but I'm just going to do it for the sake of this situation. So, Logan. How would you feel if it was your brother Jake up on that noose? Swing around. Lifeless corpse, completely gray, flies buzzing around. And then just some, you know, obnoxious dumbass frolicking in the suicide forest stumbles upon your brother and instead of, you know, calling, hey, there's a corpse out there. You might want to look into getting it, you know, out of here. No, instead of just vlogging it like a dumbass. Just imagine what that person, that 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 person's family must feel like. Nobody should ever, you know, just think of that. You know, Logan, at that mindset, you were probably doing it for the lulls, for shits and giggles. But what you were doing was just sick. That was someone's, you know, brother or cousin, son, boyfriend, husband. And you just shot. Just vlogged. You might have, you know, didn't give a rat's ass in that mindset. But... I mean, how do you think the family feels knowing that, you know, their loved one has been exploited by you? How would you feel if that was Jake's corpse? And I, I just, you know how I feel about Jake Paul making this video, but I hate making that comparison. But, you know, there are a lot of people that have done some scummy things on the internet most notably Vegan Gaines. But is Vegan Gaines still a scummy person to what he did to his grandfather? Of course he is. But, you know, Logan, you need to take a good, hard 
look at yourself in the mirror. You may have apologized, but you need to show that you actually are making changes. Put money where your mouth is. Until then, I might give some respect to you. Again, I don't hate you, Logan, but I genuinely think you are an obnoxious dumbass. And I'm just gonna leave it at that. I know I have touched up on the subject of suicide onto my channel, and as someone who did self-harm during high school, so I'm going to be leaving down a link on the description below on a suicide hotline that you can use if there's anything going on in your lives, just to let you know that there is a link that you can use on the description below for a hotline, use it 100%. So I'm just gonna leave it at that. I know we are just starting 2018, but to those who are really feeling like the world is just absolutely just destroying them and there's nowhere to go, just so you know, there are hotlines out there you can use. And please, please do the right thing. And I'm just gonna leave it at that. Logan Paul, you seriously have a lot of reflecting to do. And my God, just my God, man. What were you thinking? So without further ado, ladies and gents, I am Atticus, the Death Metaler. Hope you like this video. Subscribe to my channel. Links are in the description below. Keep it metal. Have a wonderful day, guys. And take care. Just take care. Nun, liebe Kinder, gebt fein Acht. Ich bin die Stimme aus dem Kissen. Ich hab euch etwas mitgebracht. Ein heller Schein am Firmament.